In our previous video, we hear that Freddy called his bandmates and told them about his bad health condition. John, Roger, and Brian were really broken at the time and pitied him. They don't know what will happen next and after to the band, especially to Freddy. But he told them that he didn't want them to treat him that way and to just focus to finish more work in their albums. Death was knocking at Freddy's door, and he knew his time was running out. The press was still oppressing him and trying to uncover his secret illness. People were pressuring him to come out and say he had AIDS, but Freddy didn't want to give in, but striving to make the best he could do for the music and the band before his death. Today, we will continue the story of Freddie Mercury's tragic life up to his last battle with AIDS, to the point of his death. This would be the last part of our video, and the saddest part. A sort of advice, my dear friends, before watching this video, to watch the part 1 and part 2 first in the link provided below in our description box so that you will understand the whole story. If you are not yet my subscriber, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you will be updated to my next video. And don't forget to share this after watching. While there is a little strength left in his body, he knew that the show must go on, and he must finish recording his music. In order to escape everyone and just be able to write and record, he brought the band back to a recording studio in Montreux. Brian May noticed that the people got used to the sight of them and nobody made a fuss, and they went to work by themselves and recorded their music without distraction. The band stayed in a nearby town while Freddy went back to a flat that he had bought in previous years. His bandmates chose to be as close as possible to him while also giving him his privacy. While the band was ready to record and could withstand long sessions, Freddy's energy was not like it used to be. Freddy made a limit of about an hour or two for time in the studio, and on some days, due to the virus, he was unable to make it to the studio at all. Even though he wasn't there, he constantly pushed the band to make as much music as they could while he was still alive. Freddy was still explosive in personality and his drive was still there even when his body failed him. In the last album of Freddy, he was trying to cultivate his last testament on earth. Every song carried a lot of weight to it. These were his final works. Freddy found his family in that studio. All his troubles were left outside the studio. It was only the band and the music. There was no more room for anything else. With the album still unfinished, Freddy told the band in early November that he was returning to London for a while, even though it may very well be the end of his life. Freddy scheduled a flight back to his garden lodge home, where he shut himself away in his own secluded world, away from the noise and away from the pain. In his home, he was starting to regain his sense of control. He no longer had to abide by what other people had to say. Freddy made the decision 
so ultimately stopped taking his medicine. He didn't want to suffer from the side effects of the drug any longer. For nobody. On November 22, Freddy rang Jim Beach on the phone, requesting that he release a statement to the public that he had been diagnosed with AIDS. Freddy was unable to do it himself because he was losing his sight and was drifting in and out of consciousness constantly. At midnight on Friday, the statement was given. News headlines of that same day began covering the statement that Freddy released. But while that was happening, Freddy was dying. The time was 6.48 on Sunday, November 24, 1991. Freddie Mercury was pronounced dead. His announcement of AIDS came a day before he lost his battle due to a complication with the AIDS virus. The public could barely react to the news they were given. One day they were given shocking news and the next day everyone was devastated by his death. Many news outlets broadcasted the many stories of Freddie Mercury. Some papers released articles saying that his death is a tragedy and the loss of a legendary icon that will never be forgotten. Some articles only wanted to cover the story of his lovers and so on, in order to expose him and his homosexuality. On November 27, Freddy was laid to rest. There were no more rumors and no more speculations. Everything was out in the open now for everyone to see. May and Roger Taylor pressed on to finish the album with as much of the material as they had from the recording sessions. Everything was put together and the album was released under the name Made in Heaven, where it went on selling as one of their best albums of all time and it was debuting as number one on the UK charts. The band along with Jim Beach also created an AIDS charity called the Mercury Phoenix Trust and even held concerts to bring awareness to AIDS. Freddy was dead, but his music has lived on. Many remastered albums have been released in the 2000s, giving a new generation the chance to listen to his music. Also many tribute bands have formed to perform popular Queen songs. And Queen today still performs, now with their frontman Adam Lambert. Most notably in recent years, the film Bohemian Rhapsody was released in 2018, which has reinvigorated the love for Queen and for many old and new fans alike despite the factual liberties it takes. In Mount View, a bronze statue was built, and this is where fans that make the visit present different kinds of gifts and pay their respects to Freddie. Queen has been an international icon, being a part of the top 100 greatest artists of all time according to Rolling Stones and many others. Queen has no boundaries, and Freddy has no physical borders restraining his music. He is for everyone, no matter how they are.
Freddie Mercury possessed a sound that is unique and one that no one could ever replicate. His vocal range, his extreme personality, and his dedication to his craft also set him apart from all the competition. Whether it's Bohemian Rhapsody, We Will Rock You, or Somebody to Love, people know the sound of Freddie Mercury. Just like Brian May, Freddie is still in our minds all the time and is part of our lives despite him not being here. His life wasn't perfect, and his earthly death is something that has saddened the hearts of music fans for many years, but his legacy will never die. A worse situation is not meaningless at all, but rather a way to find a meaningful life in it. Freddie's life is truly a legacy in music all around the world and such an inspiration to all the victims of HIV AIDS. I have something to tell you in one word to the whole story. No matter what you are facing right now, do not give up. Thanks for watching. And please continue to support my YouTube channel by watching and sharing my videos. And if you are not yet my subscriber, please do subscribe and on the notification bell for more stories to come. Keep safe, everyone. Hello friends, I just wanted to say thank you all for viewing my videos and supporting my channel. I really appreciate all the love and support you've done to me. I really enjoyed reading your comments after I posted a new one. I also encourage you to support my live and premiere videos by engaging in super chats and super stickers. The more you do that to me, my channel will grow in the YouTube community and it means so much to me my friends. Thank your generosity and kindness. I will always treasure you all. Just want to shout out and thank those people who joined my channel's membership button and to those who sent me super thanks when every time I upload a new one. To Linda Blifert, Michelle Brobes, Sarah Thomas, Jolo Deep, Molly Beverly, and Mon Creek Creek. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much, my friends, for your help, love, and support for me and my channel. When every time you do that, It motivates me to do more. I will appreciate more if you will send me some super thanks after watching this video. Thank you so much again and God bless. Shalom.